Hey guys, it's Sarah from All Coin Bus Ladies, and this will be one of the first types I'll be doing. So I'm gonna start doing interviews with people and the projects that potentially could be the next big thing. And if you think there is one I could potentially expand with, let me know. You know, find me on Twitter, All Coin Sarah, and we can get a discussion going. But let's focus on the project I'll be talking here today. I'm here with Ahmed from Digi Farm. So let us know who are you, what do you do, and what's up with you. Uh, so hey, um, so my name is Ahmed. So I'm the founder and CEO of Digifarm, and what we do in Digifarm is we're trying to facilitate the movement of healthcare payments to a value-based approach. So that means paying for healthcare based on performance, and we are using blockchain technology and smart contracting uh, to make that uh, happen. Awesome. So where did actually the idea come from? Because obviously healthcare is such a big issue like for example in england we've got free healthcare. in some countries like in america you have to pay for it and people are in big troubles because they don't have an insurance so where did the idea actually come from yes so my background uh, by trade is essentially i was i was a health economist so i've been working on submissions for reimbursement or let's call it payment for big pharma companies uh, with governments and insurers around the world so I've worked on both the payer side, but also on the manufacturer side. And what I've seen recently over the last four or five years is a movement to outcomes-based agreements for these new therapies. So these pharmaceutical organizations uh, have been agreeing and negotiating with these payers for health uh, to pay them based on how well their drugs perform. However, uh, while this has been you know, quite uh, an interesting and revolutionary concept, these organizations are still faced with the infrastructure limitations of implementing these agreements because when the burden of proof for payments is becoming health data and patient data uh, rather than them you know being paid for how much of a drug they're selling um, we need to we need to create this medical information infrastructure that's trusted that's immutable because obviously organizations are being paid uh, or, mm -hmm. or paying based on this data and then we need to automate this process um, as it's a huge burden for you know, staff in hospitals and clinics. So we automate this with, with smart contracting. Okay, so if you were to summarize Digifarm in five words, how would you do it? I would say uh, creating efficiency in healthcare payments. You actually got in five words. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that's that's pretty simple. I mean, everyone can relate to it because I'm. I don't know if you ever had a chance, but I had a look once on a black market onto the drug sections, and the stuff you can get there, it's ridiculous. Is that what you're trying to fight against the counterfeit and the possibility of you actually getting something wrong because you didn't know and you decided to go and be your own doctor? <laughs> not not that much in touch. I mean, there are blockchain companies who are focusing on supply chain uh, in healthcare for far, you know, for pharmacies and for hospitals. What we work on is that step after that. So once this project product is onto the market, is making sure that patients or whoever's paying for healthcare is paying a fair price for it. So if there's a drug that does not pro provide benefit for these patients then we believe that they should not be um, you know, required to pay the full cost of this therapy. Um, a lot of people always ask me, it's a question I always get, is why would a pharmaceutical company agree to be based on performance? What we've seen is that you know, healthcare insurances or governments have restricted budgets to provide the best possible care for the, for the people you know, uh, un, un, under them. And... What really hurts pharmaceutical companies is the lack of market access. So they get these therapies, they come to market with five to six years left on their patents. They want to get to as many patients as possible in as many jurisdictions. And when they're stuck in these negotiations around the price, what they have currently now, it, it takes away uh, you know, access for patients for these newer drugs but also hurts their profitability. So what they're interested in is getting the, the drug onto the market, uh, getting them to as many people as possible, and then benefiting from those patients that 
perform well on these therapies over a long, longer period of time. I do like the concept. Thank you for explaining it a little bit better. So if you were to say what is your focus area or countries, a part of the world, which ones would you say you would like to influence the most, if you can call it that way? Yeah, so what we have in, in healthcare pricing and drug pricing, and there are often these key reference markets um, that are often referenced by countries near to them. So these are, you know, the larger uh, European countries like the UK, France, Germany. In the Middle East, you'd have Saudi and, and the United Arab Emirates. Um, so these are the main countries that we're, you know, really interested in. Reference countries in the Nordics, in, in Western Europe, Europe, uh, in the Middle East as well. Mm -hmm. And then the future will be moving towards the US market. The US market, market is a lot more fragmented and it's a lot harder to work with. So we're establishing our roots in these countries where we have, you know, strong networks and, and that's where we'll be starting. That's pretty understandable why you're approaching it from that way, what you're doing. What, what about you? Where are you originally from? What, what is your personal background? Yes, yeah, so originally I'm, I'm from Yemen, but I grew, grew up in the UK. I'm currently living in, in Basel, Switzerland, as I was previously working as a health economist at Roche. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's really good for us to stay near that environment where there's a lot of you know, global headquarters for a lot of these pharmaceutical companies. Um, so that's where we're currently working out of. Um, we are going to be opening a couple of dev centers internationally uh, as well. Awesome. So how can we potentially purchase you? Are you doing ICO, crowdfunding, IEO? What is your way of getting out there and letting people purchase some Digifarm? Yeah, so we've just completed our first uh, round of our IEO on Coin EO Exchange. Um, mm -hmm. We sold that out in less than 24 hours. Amazing. Um, the next round, so the, the next round will be on the 14th uh, of June for a period of four days. Um, that will be our main sale round. And immediately after the IEO, we'll be listing directly, not just on Coinio, but also Coino, which is a, a partner exchange with OKX and OKCoin. Okay so what is your total supply and all of the price points what are the you know the critical matters yeah so um we have a total supply of 100 million tokens and 50 million of those will be going uh, to our public sale um the token is quite an interesting token so uh where we're, we're doing the token sale out of switzerland so we're fully regulated by the financial market authority which required us to have a working product by the time we go to uh, a token offering. Um, mm -hmm. It's a utility token that not, that not only just provides, um, let's say, access to our platforms for users, but there are additional functionalities like being a token that's able to reward patients for sharing their data with us. Um, it'll be a token that's able to be used on other applications by other organizations within the Digifarm network and the Digifarm ecosystem. And we're also going to be developing, let's say, an Amazon uh, of health data. So a health data marketplace. Uh, so we've partnered with organizations that, um, you know, help patients share and store genomic data as well. Mm -hmm. um, so it can be quite interesting, especially as you see on, you know, mobile phones these days. Um, a lot of crypto wallets are starting to appear and things like this. So we want to have the ability to be able to reward patients anywhere in the world instantly for being able to contribute to a health data marketplace and things like that. So we see there's uh, quite an interesting future there. So you're in the IEO stage right now. Uh, what other points do you have on the roadmap for 2019? I mean, so we're, uh, we're towards uh, the completion stage of, of some of our pilots, uh, and these are in Europe. Um, the next phase would be to develop more on our platform, uh, expand it to complete uh, developing the AI layers uh, on our solution. And then what we also want to do is really start getting into these revenue generating deals with, with governments and some of the larger companies. Relates because everyone deserves a healthcare and an access to the medication. And even though you're not a supply chain, you, you can sort of um, go underneath that, we could say. And I I really do like the project and what you actually stand for. So I really hope that you're going to succeed very well and that it's all going to work out for you. If there is anything else you would like to let us know about Digifarm, please do let us know. This is your time to shine. And I'm more than happy to hear what you've got to say. 
No, thank you very much. I'll just say, uh, you know, I'll, I'll really tell people, uh, supporters or, or people who just only heard about this to check out our website, read our white paper, try and understand exactly what, what we want to do, because what we are doing will potentially affect, hopefully, you know, uh, millions of people uh, around the world. We're already starting to help organizations be a lot more efficient with their spending. You know, saving money on therapies and treatments and services that are not providing value and then making them, you know, helping them use the money that's been saved to provide better therapies and better treatments for people. And, you know, these outcomes based contracts, they're not just the drugs. They could potentially be used for anything where you want to guarantee any minimum level of performance. And, mm -hmm. and we you know, the enforceability of smart contracts to so bind these organizations to these agreements. So how many actually people is the working behind Digifarm? Um, so there's about uh, around 20 people currently in the team. Um, but as we do, you know, start opening our dev centers, uh, we, we hope to, you know, more than double that uh, within a year. When did you actually start developing the, when did it went from idea to actually where you are now? How long has it been? Uh, so it's around uh, 2017, early 2017, when, you know, Ethereum smart contracts really started making waves. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we really understood that the best way to really benefit from this is, is really to implement it in the areas where we have expertise. And there was a clear, you know, really clear requirement for what we want to do. Um, I mean, in addition to my current role, I'm also working at the UN Center for trade facilitation, e-business, and, and leading the blockchain and healthcare working group. And wow. whenever we are requested or asked advice by organizations who are thinking of implementing blockchain, it's really a software stack that's only uh, you know, recommended when the costs and, and computational burden of doing so is, 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 is actually really worth it. And we see payments for healthcare is, is, is a big area where you know, th there's a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. Awesome. That that is absolutely brilliant. Um, I've really learned a lot, and I am definitely gonna wait on the 14th of June. Is it on Coinil? And yep. am I getting that right? Um, yeah. What is the price per token so far? So it's 10 cents. So it's the same price that it was in the pre-sale round. So mm -hmm. we have a price per token. Okay. So this is not a professional financial advice. However. You know what I'll be doing the 14th of June, let's put it that way. Um, so thank you very much, Ahmed, for having me around. Um, where can we find you and what's the website, Twitter, and all those handles? Let us know where we can find you so you know you don't miss out on anything. Yeah, so our website is www.digifarm.io. On there, there will be the links to all our social media channels. You can reach out to any of the team on, on Telegram or LinkedIn. I mean, we are quite active on LinkedIn. We do, you know, it's been quite a professional network as well. Mm -hmm. um, so you can reach out to us anytime. Send us an email to our info uh, email on our website as well. And we'll be happy to uh, help you. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming over. And I hope to speak to you soon. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you.